how to keep hair long on top, right, while you're growing at the top, but also keep the sides a bit shorter. I know this is something that a lot of people want. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna just kind of break down some absolutely necessary things and some helpful tips that can help you grow out the top, but also keep the sides a bit shorter. So if you're planning on doing this yourself, and I know it seems a bit difficult, but believe it or not, <clears throat> if you follow these instructions, you'll be able to actually manage this on your own if you're able, or if you're trying to grow the top out, but you wanna keep the sides maintained. Now, I always, always, always suggest going to a professional, right? Because obviously we can help you out. But if you are trying to do this on your own, you're tired of people screwing your hair up, you know, they keep chopping the top off and you're just sick of it, then this is what you need to do. <clears throat> so the first thing you need to do is you can do this in two ways. One, you can do it while the hair is dry. And what you're going to need to do is section off or use a clip. I sell these on my website, shop.thesalonguy.com. These are called alligator clips. And this is something that's very essential if you do plan on doing your hair yourself for a long period of time. But what the great thing about this is you can use this as kind of like something that helps you section the hair very neatly and very evenly. So I always suggest following where the hairline or the recession point starts right here. And with these clips, you're able just to section the hair out and just make it a nice section and hold that hair out of the way. And you can do that on both sides. Next, you're gonna use some sort of, whether it's a vent brush like this or a hair cutting comb or something, <clears throat> you're gonna need something to comb the hair down. Again, this is good while the hair is dry. You can do it while the hair is damp. Just again, make sure you're very, very careful. And then what you're going to end up having to do is you're going to, I'm gonna use a, another hair clip here as reference and bring us a little bit closer. You have all this hair underneath, and this is the top hair, which you wanna protect and keep long. So all you need to do is comb or brush this hair down and comb it around this way, going back or more kind of like where you can see the outline of the sideburn and the ear area. If you wanna go relatively short, what you need to do is comb the hair back like so, and then simply just take the scissors and cut around this area like this. You can go you know, fully around the ear if you want it a lot shorter. You can leave it you know, hanging down this way, or you can just comb everything straight down and cut it straight across here. If you wanna have a lot more length on this side like this, you could literally just comb this down and cut it straight across. And then if you wanna bring it back a little bit like this, you wanna clean up the ear around the sideburn area, then you can lightly just trim this and work it back into here. So it's all really just maneuvering. What's gonna happen is when you lay this over, you, you let go of the top section, this is gonna to start to you know, look okay, but then at some point, it's gonna to start to become somewhat of an undercut, and then you're gonna to have to get the haircut somewhat blended or so, um, and then that's where you need to see a professional. But again, you run the risk of, of them cutting it too short, so you simply say, I love the top where it is. I'm looking just to kind of connect this a little bit in through here, keep the sides a bit shorter and have the top a lot longer. And then when, when you have the desired length of what you want, then you know, you'll know you be happy. But I would suggest, you know, don't go to a, a, a barber who is inexperienced with this type of stuff. Go to a you know, professional stylist, a hair salon possibly, you know, some, or even if you have a barber, somebody who understands how to cut hair properly not someone who just uses clippers all day. You need to be able to understand how the hair flows and how it works. And you know, if, if you're just gonna have somebody who uses clippers all day, it may not work out too well in your favor. What's also gonna happen is you keep cutting this short, all this is gonna start to grow a bit longer too. So you have to make sure that you're not creating a huge disproportionate, unbalanced shape on your head. Um, and that's why I suggest going to a professional. But again, if you are trying to maintain this on your own, you can lightly just comb this down. If you want to brush this down like this, you can try to cut around the ears on your own or the back, it's gonna be very difficult. But it's a short little quick tip if you are trying to grow the hair out on top and you want to just maintain this a little bit and tidy it up while you're not losing any length on top. So let me know if you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.